way. If you know anything about me, you'll know that I love learning new things, and particularly I love learning about people throughout history, and even more particularly, women of history. <laughs> so I love learning about women's stories that we might not have heard about through history lessons, we might not know about them just as common knowledge like we do with so many historical men. I wonder why that is. <laughs> And I just love learning about these women's stories and the things that they've achieved and the things that they've gone through that we might not know and spreading them to everyone else so everyone else can learn their stories. So in case you don't know, I have a podcast called Let's Learn About. Uh, I co-host it with my friend Ellie. One of the biggest topics that we talk about on this podcast is women of history or just kind of like awesome people throughout history. It's a general knowledge podcast. We talk about literally anything. Um, and it's really fun. I'd recommend listening to it if you want to. Um, but yeah, one of our most loved sort of topics is women of history. So I thought in this video, I would tell you uh, some of the books that you can read if you wanna learn more about some incredible women throughout history. I was gonna film this around International Women's Day and then it just completely went out my mind. I wrote a quick blog post instead featuring some of my favourite women of history. But yeah, this video just completely passed me by until now. So I'm finally doing it. I think the thing about International Women's Day is that it's great as a day to celebrate women, but we've got to remember to celebrate women every day, not just on one day a year. So that's why I'm doing this video now. Uh, I'm gonna tell you some of my favourite books where I love to get inspiration when I want to learn about some incredible women throughout history. So I'm gonna start with What Would Boudicca Do? by E. Foley and B. Coates. I talked about this quite recently. Um, Keris at Library of Keris, she did a video where loads of booktubers got involved and we all had to talk about one book in particular um, that covers feminism, talks about feminism in some way, and I talked about this. It's basically an anthology of uh, kind of chapters about loads of women throughout history, and it kind of teaches you lessons that apply to contemporary culture. So there's anything to do with body, positivity, um, or not even positivity, but just being happy with the body that you're in, um, female friendships, uh, work-life balance, about being a geek and proud. There's so much stuff in here that I just love. But yeah, each kind of snippet of advice, they match with a particular woman of history. So for example, you've got Boudicca and sticking up for yourself, uh, Mae West and being body positive, Rosa Parks and standing up to bullies, Sappho and backing yourself, Sappho. We love Sappho on this channel. <laughs> I've got so many videos now talking about sapphic books. Ada Lovelace and surviving a broken home. Ada Lovelace, I think, is one of the people that I may be included in my blog post about awesome women because she's just incredible. There's so many, so many chapters. There's like 50 women, I think, included in this book. And it's just written in such a fun way. It's just so funny. Like some parts genuinely made me laugh. And it's just great for people of all ages as well. Like I'm 26 and I loved it. You could, I think you'd love it if you were a teenager as well, particularly. I think it's speaking for the sort of young adult crowd. And it's just so much fun. And you can learn little snippets about some wonderful women. The only thing I'd say about this is that I wish some of the chapters were a little bit longer because they are only a couple of pages each. So it kind of really quickly goes through the main points of the life story of these women. And some of them, I really wish it went into in a bit more depth. However, it gives you the names of these women and it gives you kind of the basis of their story so that then you're able to go away and if you want to learn more about them you can research them yourself and that's exactly what I've done with the podcast is that I've taken some of these women and researched their life in more detail and learned about them and shared about it on my podcast so it's a great jumping off point to learn about some awesome women. So the next one, I read it as an ebook from my library, but uh, so I don't have a physical copy here, but it's called Queer There and Everywhere, 23 People Who Changed the World. And it's about 23 queer people. It's not just women, there's uh, men and also non-binary and trans folk. Uh, it talks about some awesome people who are all queer and 
the way that they change the world, not only in their identities being open and free, but also just in the things that they did and they achieved. There's some incredible stories. I loved this book. I gave it maybe four stars because again, some of them, some of the stories I wish went into a little bit more depth. And also uh, I think it could have been a little bit more diverse in terms of locations around the world. So it's all very Western, I think, like most of the people in the book are quite Western. So I think my only gripe with it is that I wish that it was a little bit more diverse in terms of uh, where these people came from. Uh, so they're not all just Western people. There are some that aren't, but yeah, it was majority quite Western. Uh, but the stories of these people are incredible. It gave me a real sense of just how many incredible inspirational queer people there have actually been in our history. And again, so many of them get glossed over either because because they're queer or because they're women. Uh, there's so many reasons why so many of them are glossed over and we don't learn about them as much as we should. Uh, it covers people like Eleanor Roosevelt, uh, Frida Kahlo, Oh, so many people. Again, I read it a little while ago and I can't flick through because I had it as an ebook from my library, so I've it's returned now. But yeah, there were so many stories in this that uh, were just so inspirational. And if you want to learn particularly about queer women, then that is the book that I recommend that you go to. So the next two books are a little bit different. They focus on specific types of women. So the first one is called A Galaxy of Her Own, Amazing Stories of Women in Space by Libby Jackson. And if you know me, you know that I love space. I love anything to do with space and astronomy. So this book is just my perfect book, learning about not only incredible women who have done incredible things, but specifically about women who went to space or who have things to do with the study of space. So cool. And it's just such a beautiful book as well. Like all of these illustrations in the book are just stunning. All the art styles are just so amazing. I mean, look at this. Like the art styles are just so cool. And the information is all laid out in such a sort of nice sort of graphic way that is just I don't even know how to explain how great this book is. I just love it so much. It's split into sections. So you've got about people who actually went to space. You've then got um, people who are studying like the future of space. So people who are currently studying what space will be like and what space travel will be like in the future. There's so many women included in this and I just love it so much. At the back, you've then got a, a gallery of the illustrators. So you've got a couple of pages that talk about, uh, that like show you who illustrated all of the, the pages. So it's great also to find some new artists to love. Um, I already have looked up some of the artists in this just to find out some of their other work. And uh, I think they're also all female artists as well, which, Oh, it's just so cool. I love this book so much and it's just stunning. Um, so yeah, if you want to learn about some awesome women specifically in the context of space and space travel and astronomy, then this is the book for you. And finally, we're going a little bit different again here. We're not talking about real historical women. This is Legendary Ladies, 50 Goddesses to Empower and Inspire You by Anne Shen. So this is actually talking about uh, mythology and women throughout um, legends and myths all over the world. Like it covers so many different um, mythologies from, from different locations around the world. And yet again, the art style is just stunning. Like, oh, I wish I could just like take these pages out and put them on my wall. Like Artemis, amazing. Like the stories are just so great. It tells you about what their origin, like where their origin comes from. So which mythology, you've got Greek, um, you've got Hawaiian, uh, Irish, Roman, Chinese. There's all sorts, like there's mythology from so many places around the world and oh, I love this book so much. I was actually on the blog tour for this 
a couple of years ago now. This book's a couple of years old and I was on the blog tour. I think I talked about Artemis, maybe? We were basically all given one legendary lady in particular to talk about on our blog tour and I think mine was Artemis. I might be wrong, it was a little while ago. Um, but I just, I mean, look how pretty this is. Look at it, it's just stunning. Oh, out of any of them, I feel like these two books are the ones that I recommend the most just because they're so beautiful. The illustrations in them are just so stunning. Like you can just sit there and stare at the artwork <laughs> and oh, love it so much. Uh, so yeah, a bit different to the others where the others are real women throughout history. These are sort of women throughout mythology rather than history. Um, but so many powerful women that will just inspire you to want to be a goddess yourself. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. There are four books that I recommend. If you do want to learn about some awesome women of history or mythology, then check out these books. I will link to them all in the, in the description below. And I definitely re recommend them all so much. They're all so diverse. You can learn about so many incredible women. And I think it's so important, as I said at the beginning, it's important to uplift the voices of women and to learn about these incredible women through, throughout history that we might not have learned about through sort of traditional history lessons and yeah it's just I love it so much I love a good strong woman <laughs> and I definitely recommend all of these books and also to check out my podcast if you haven't already I like I said there's a whole index on the website where we talk uh, where there's like a whole section about women of history just awesome people throughout history so if you want to learn just some general knowledge then go and listen to that um, let me know in the comments who some of your favourite women throughout history are and why they're your favourite. I will also link to a blog post that I did on Inter International Women's Day um, where I featured, I think it was just three of my favourite stories that I've learned about just through uh, like studying them for the podcast. I'm sorry if you can hear my notifications going off on my phone. <laughs> So check out the description for all sorts of links. Let me know in the comments who your favourite historical woman is or women throughout mythology as well. And subscribe to this channel if you want more about general knowledge, women or queer content and like the video. And I will see you soon with a new one. Bye.